federal health care bill passed and in it is contained an individual mandate that orders you and other American citizens and Virginians that you must purchase health insurance. Not just any health insurance, government approved Nancy Pelosi's imprimatur health insurance. <clears throat> and they promise to treat everyone who doesn't vote in Republican primaries. So, uh, yeah, I joke, but power that exists in the hands of government will be exercised. So when the federal government passed that health care bill and required each of you all and many others to purchase health insurance uh, or face penalties, it conflicted with Virginia's Health Care Freedom Act. And uh, I see the Article 5 sign back there. Article 6 of the Constitution contains the Supremacy Clause, which you're all familiar with, has federal laws trumping state laws, except when the federal law is unconstitutional. And we assert in Virginia, Virginia asserts that this bill is unconstitutional because the Congress doesn't have the power under the Commerce Clause to compel you to buy a product from another American or a company. They can't do it. And we believe the courts are going to uphold us they're there to protect the Constitution. They don't always do it, but I think they will here. And let me boil it down to a non-legal explanation for you. If you're the judge, think about what you're being asked to do, because this is unprecedented. There is no example in our history where in the name of regulating commerce, the federal government has been ab able, not that it's even tried, they have never tried to order us to do something, to buy a product. If you're the judge, it isn't just that you have to rule against Virginia. You have to rule against 18 other states in Florida, and you have to be ready, willing, and able to say that ordering Americans to buy a product from somebody else is allowed under the Constitution. I think that the, the judges fundamentally are going to have a hard time accepting that. They're going to have a hard time accepting it. It's unprecedented because no Congress has ever thought before that they might have this power, that they've never tried this before. The fact that it's never been done before is evidence that Congresses before this one knew they couldn't do it. They knew they couldn't do it. This has never been done before. The debate in the courts is going to range over the entire 221 and a half year history of the Constitution. The whole period. In our complaint, which you can pull down on our Virginia Attorney General website. We noted uh, Calder v. Bull from 1798. Very interesting commentary by Justice Chase in this case. In this case, they were talking about what the constitutional structure indicates about the power of the government and what they can do and what they can't. And he was listing some examples of things that the federal government could never do. And one of them was, for instance, the federal government could never order person A to buy something from person B. Really? 1798, he probably didn't know anything about what the Founding Fathers were doing. He was probably having dinner with them. 